There's times of the year where I can just be like the most boring eater on the planet. And if I had to peg a particular moment for me, it's really around the holidays. There's always so much going on and I'm on repeat thinking about what's the quickest, easiest solution that I could put together, which lends to the thought, how did I solve this problem yesterday? Okay, I'll just do that. What helps me get out of that trance is my family. It's simple. The excitement I hear behind one word that they say. Again. That's it. The special word brings me right out of the hypnosis. Using the same solution for the same problem when it comes to diet is probably the only time that saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it, doesn't work. At least not all the time. When your meals have so much variety and or so much flexibility, that repetition from before just works. Today's meal is a recreation of the classic takeout dinner, the Nard Dog Pad Thai. I know, has a ring to it, right? I didn't name it that.
on my website. I have soy a few places in this dish. And if your diet requires you take that out, we're gonna need to start with our sauce and swapping the soy sauce for coconut aminos or a no soy soy sauce. The last collection of words I just said sounds like soy 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 sauce. That's not what I said. I put captions on the video, so if you need to go back, I completely get it. I also added in a vegan fish sauce. Pad Thai is originally made with oyster sauce or fish sauce or some combination of both. This is what brought me to introduce a vegan version, but it doesn't seem as though it will break the dish if you need to leave it out. Tamarind paste is also used in this one, and I don't believe we've gone over that before. Tamarind paste compared to other pastes are pretty much priced at the same level. What's really nice though is you only use about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of it at a time, and the expiration date is like, out there. If you're interested in a substitute for tamarind paste, on the screen is a few combinations that I found are pretty good, although not completely on the spot. The sauce itself packs a teeny bit of heat in the way that I made it, but not enough to scare my daughter who doesn't like spicy stuff at all. This recipe at its bones is basically a stir fry. So be sure to choose an oil that's high heat. I use avocado or light sesame oil, not to be confused with toasted sesame oil. One is fairly priced. The other is priced to be aged, like fine wine until you could afford it again. If you're oil free, you could actually still do this recipe and you could stir fry in a nonstick skillet with soy sauce. I chose brown rice noodles to base my veggies on as part of the pantry challenge that I mentioned in the last video. If I didn't have those noodles, I would have just went with brown rice as I always have that on hand. Within the ingredients, the flexibility is endless. The key is to choose ingredients that cook at the same time from start to finish or to stagger your ingredients by longest cook time to shortest. Keeping in mind things like a carrot can be this size and a zucchini can be this size and the carrot is still going to take longer to cook than the zucchini. Also, carrots are one of those vegetable guys who just don't like to wear their uniform. So instead of all your carrots, you know, exactly the same, you could have carrots that look like that or like that. So notice some of my carrots, I kept completely round like a medallion and others, I chopped them in half. Again, you wanna keep that cook time linear, but don't be scared, add that variety, mix up some colors and textures. This helps get you those different tastes, different flavors, different vitamins, different minerals, all those things that your body is longing for on a daily basis. And know yourself. For example, I eat a ton of fruit, but not many of them are green. So oftentimes for me, it's about making sure my dinner has some green in it. Check this recipe out in the description or head over to makeitdairyfree.com where you can type in the words and search for Pad Thai. Just remember, it doesn't have Nard Dog in the front, just Pad Thai. Mm. The name is still out for debate. I might just change it. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. Until next time, believe in good. Peace.